hello everybody welcome back to another one of my videos i wanted to do a video for you guys that was kind of for girls more so yes it is quarantine time we are all sitting in our house there is not much for us to do so i was like self-care is very important since we're at home and we're able to do self-care let's just jump into one of the things that i know girls really try to achieve during the summer and that is a very nice sun kissing tan for our body now the whole skin cancer thing has been going around we want to make sure we're safe so why not use a self tanning lotion to try to you know not hurt our skin any more than we have to i went ahead and i picked up some products that i wanted to try i thought they were really good ideas so i was like oh, let me do a video let me do it with you guys to see how it turns out i'm going to definitely take you step by step and show you exactly what it is if for anybody that doesn't know who i am my name is ashley welcome to my video i hope you enjoy this please be sure to like subscribe and join the family this is just going to be a video about me let me go ahead and jump into this video and show you what we have and what we're going to be using today all right you guys so for today's video i am going to be trying out this a new sun tanning product from Jergens. I was going through the drugstore and I saw this and I was like, oh, why not try this out? I'm always trying to find a quick, easy way to get a tan and to look nice and fresh. So I was like, I'm going to grab it. The shade medium, it's water mousse, sun inspired, natural looking color within hours mousse i hope this is enough for my whole body but we will find out i picked one of them up and it comes with one of the mitts that you use to rub it on your body my usual routine is usually these two i use the jergens natural glow and the copper tone glow i will do both so i will put this on first let it sink in and then i'll go over it with this and that's how i get a sun tan kiss on my body mostly my legs my arms and my chest um i do not use it on my face that's where i just get a different colored foundation but this is my usually go-to so let me go ahead and read the directions of what i'm supposed to do okay expert tips exfoliate prior to use okay moisturize dry, dry areas such as elbows knees ankles and feet okay to remove any excess color on the palms of your hands, use an exfoliating body scrub. Okay, I got most of those. So if anybody wants to know what kind of scrub I'm going to be using to exfoliate my skin, it is the Dove Exfoliating Body Scrub. For smell, pomegranate seeds, and shea butter. I did get this at Walgreens. So I do do this before I shave my legs. I am going to shave my arms. To try this out, I'm going to shave one arm just so you guys can see what it looks like with one arm. And then the other arm I'm going to leave with excess hair on it to see what it looks like with hair. My lotion that I love to use so I'm going to moisturize very well as well. Alright you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and jump in the shower. As you guys can see, no makeup on. I, you're not allowed to use it on your face so I'm not going to be using it on my face. I am going to take a picture of before and after so you guys can see. Stay tuned. You guys so this is my bathing suit this is usually one of the bathing suits that i wear when we go out swimming or to the pool or something like that and i know it's a little revealing but i wanted to give you guys the full effect and look so you guys can see so this is what i look like of right now um so stay tuned um let's See what we can okay, do. So it is the next day. I wasn't able to film last night after I got out of the shower because my camera died and we needed to charge the battery. My husband's behind me making fun of me. Well, he's behind you making fun of me. So since it is a beautiful day, I was like, why not do it in the front of a window where you guys can actually see what I look like and how it will unfold. 
So don't mind my mess. You're going to understand why my house is a mess in tomorrow's vlog. Um, so yes. So this is what I look like as of right now. This is my skin tone. This is a bathing suit. I will do my legs off camera because that's just a lot to do in front of a window. The products here. So this is what I was told to use. It comes with a it comes with a little fluffy mitt and my suntan bubbly water mousse. So the directions say to use the velvet the velvet spot of the mitt you can go ahead and put your hand in it like this and then it says to work in, in circular motion so i'm gonna go ahead and shake this very well i don't know if you're supposed to shake it did not say to shake but i'm gonna shake it those are three pumps and i'm going to apply it oh it smells good my elbows, the back of my hand, on my fingers. Inside. Oh, three pumps in my whole arm. I do feel like there's still a lot on the mitt still so I'm just going to keep circling it kind of get my fingers my wrist I'm gonna take another pump and I'm going to go ahead and do like this area my shoulder area and work it into there I don't know how I'm going to get my bag, obviously. I'll have my husband get my bag. Are you supposed to get your armpits? Like, go in on your armpits? Mm, I scratched myself right there. My thing is, what if I don't like it? Do I just wash it off? All right, and it says within a couple hours, I'm going to switch hands. Try not to have a nipple slip. Not that I have any. Just saying. Ooh, doing this with your left hand feels a little awkward. Oh, maybe I should get down here. Oh, definitely. That's a spot I need to get. I gotta go back and get that spot. Hopefully, I don't forget. Okay, let's do my arm now. So this is the arm that has the hair on it. And I'm gonna work it, work it, work it. I hate it when people, like when I tan and then the inside of my fingers get orange like in the crevices, you know, like in the middle So and then my wrist gets orange too. The one spot I didn't get We need to get this spot under here My tattoo. Yes, I have a tattoo there for anybody that wants to know I got a couple tattoos Okay time For my belly. I'm not gonna take my pants off. I'm just gonna pull them down a little bit to wear it. Like maybe we can see. I'm gonna take two pumps in my belly. Rub it in. Rub it, rub it, rub it. Supposedly it's buildable, but I don't know. Alright. Um I really don't know a difference yet. What I'm gonna do is go do my makeup and let this dry. Come back once my makeup is on and then we'll take another look at it and see if I do need maybe another coat. And then we'll go from there because I do know on the bottle it says a couple hours. It'll take me an hour to do my makeup. I'm not gonna do nothing crazy, but we'll give it a minute. We'll be back. All right, you guys. So as you can see, I put on a little makeup. Um, if you guys are interested in what I used on my face, it's not a lot. I put a little bit of concealer in certain areas so like around my eyes I put some highlight on some contour and a little bit of blush and mascara obviously eyebrows and lips so I didn't do the full foundation baking all that stuff that I usually do um, this is not my everyday simple look it's a little bit more of a glammed look but um, it's cute I like it for today doing nothing all right so I really don't see 
lot of a difference. I feel a little sticky. Um, it's been about two hours and I feel really sticky up here on my bones, the creases of my arms. Um, my arm's a little sticky, my belly's a little sticky, but I really don't see like a huge difference. Like, so I was thinking maybe I'll do like one more coat to see. You can see my bronzer is a lot darker than my body. Um, I was hoping to achieve somewhat of that color, <laughs> but not even close. So let's give it one more wipe and hopefully I see something. I don't even see any discoloration in my fingers. Usually I'll see the colors here. Um, or maybe I should give it a couple more hours. It said hours. So it's about, let's see. It's one o'clock right now. So I'm going to check back in around three and then we'll go through it again and we'll see at three o'clock if I don't see a difference. Um, I'll do another coat just to see what that looks like with the second coat. And then we'll give it a couple hours and see. So then that way we can fully look if there is a difference. Um, so yeah. All right, you guys, welcome back. It has been a couple of hours. As you can see, my makeup is halfway off. I did go to the store. I dropped my son off at home. We did have to pick up some stuff. So we were running out of meat and stuff. But with that being said, it's been a couple hours and I will definitely say I do see a little bit of a difference. Um, my hands are a lot darker. As I'm looking at them, you buy you probably can't see, but there is the discoloration in my fingers that I was telling you guys that I do not like. And you know what's funny is, um, and in my palms, you can see it right here in my palms. What's funny is I've washed my hands three times with soap for 20 seconds and I still have all the color on my hands. So I don't think it's washable. Uh, I don't see much of a difference here or maybe here I don't know um, on my back oh I can't tell if there's any difference I'll have to ask my husband but I did try to get on my back other than that um, I do see though a, a definite tan sun kiss look it's not as dark as i would like it to be i'm sure if i put another coat it would be a lot darker um unfortunately i'm kind of okay with this right now i'm actually going to wait it out and see how long it will last i'm gonna give it a couple days and do follow-ups with you guys on my instagram so make sure you follow me on instagram and then i'm going to shower maybe not tomorrow but the next day and do an exfoliating scrub to see if that actually comes off and I will update you guys on my Instagram on that as well but I am really digging the sun kiss glowy look I really do like it you can really see like a big difference I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera I can give you my word that it does do about two shades darker than your actual skin tone but what's really nice is it does have the shimmer in it that actually looks very nice and it's not sticky anymore you guys remember a couple hours ago i was telling you how sticky it was i'm not sticky anymore my skin is actually really soft i don't have any color creases in my elbows um or in the creases of my elbows um none here actually a little here I could see a little here so you can see that it does get tanner in some areas oh look at that I didn't do very well right here so I should probably go back in or not go back in but you can definitely see the shade difference do you guys see that so that's how you can tell the shade difference this is my natural skin and then this is the tan so it is about two shades different this is the arm with the hair 
I would say there is no difference. It didn't clump up in my hairs. It didn't show any type of streaking. So if you have hair on your arms and you don't want to shave, go for it. It does nothing. This is an arm without shave or that I have shaved and it looks totally fine as well. So it's a preference. Hair, no hair. It doesn't really do a difference. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want more of these videos, please drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about this. Do you like it? Does it look my does it make my skin look nice and glowy? Am I summer ready? Is Corona going to leave because of this? I hope so. It was fun. It was nice. It made me feel good. I was able to do a little self care which we all need in a time like this um but yeah i love you guys take care stay inside see you soon